We're going to start up Blender from a default installation. Here we are with Blender. Fires up. This is Blender version 2.80. And this is Blender as you download it direct from the, the website. All well and good. We've got a camera, we've got a cube, we've got a light, a lot of basic stuff here. But it's worth thinking about two things. One is customizing the interface very slightly, not too much, so that it's easy to work. And the second is making a startup file, which includes things like, for example, renamed items, default materials that you might want to save, and a target camera. But we'll look at that in the second video. For right now, let's look at customizing Blender. So to customize, we go to Edit, Preferences, and a separate dialog box comes up. You can actually drag this off to a second screen as I have here, but I'm only recording this one, so we'll keep it on top of the 3D window. And we'll go to Interface, Resolution Scale. What's that? Well, that's literally the scale of the fonts and the icons that are used on screen. I'm going to set it to 1.25 so that it's easier for the recording, which is going to be slightly reduced in, in resolution to, to be seen. Do we want the splash screen? Do we want the tooltips? Yes, we do. Python tooltips are useful. If you want to know how the Python interface works under the hood, as it were, apart from that, we're probably pretty good with the defaults here. Themes is where you change the colors of everything. And I'm going to do one thing which you don't need to do, and that's to open the 3D view and scroll all the way down, all the way down to the outline width. And I'm going to change that to the maximum, which is five pixels. So that means that objects that are selected are going to have a five pixel wide colored border rather than a one pixel wide colored border. And it'll be easier for you to see the colors and the, um, the selection on the screen because of this change. You don't need to do this for, for your own installation. Though I personally find it convenient. The viewport, what do we have here? I don't think there's anything I want to change here. The lights were probably good. Editing were also probably good. Animation, nothing to change here, although we will maybe have a look at this later on when we get on to animation in Blender. The add-ons, there are a lot of very useful add-ons that come with Blender but they're not enabled by default. But again, I'm just going to leave these for the moment. The input. Anything in the input? Nothing here, I believe. Navigation. Navigation, we do want to change a couple of things. First, orbit around selection. I'm going to check that. And that means that any items that are selected, when you hold down the middle mouse button and orbit, those will stay in the same location on the screen. They won't disappear off to the side, as they do with the default layout. And the second thing is very important, zoom to most position. Because by default, Blender zooms to the center of the screen, which is really, in my opinion, irritating. So zoom to most position is a must check here. Key map where you change the key shortcuts. I don't think you really want to mess too much with that, partly because it's going to mean that you're going to, you're going to get used to them and you're going to have to change every installation of Blender you work with from now on. So if you happen to work on a lab machine or you work on somebody else's machine or you get a new computer and you download Blender and you install it, you're going to have to change all those key shortcuts. So this is, in fact, a general argument for not changing too many of the preferences. The system cycles render devices. If you've got a reasonably good graphic card in your machine, an NVIDIA card at present, then you probably want to change this to CUDA, which uses the 
GPU rather than the CPU, the graphic processing unit rather than the central processing unit for rendering. And in most cases, graphic cards have more powerful processors than the central motherboard for this kind of purpose. Undo steps, 32 is probably fine. Don't want to have too many undo steps because it'll load up your memory. Save and load, I think we're all good. We don't want to auto run Python scripts, that's actually a security issue. Python scripts, if this is checked, will run automatically so that if you download a Blender file from someone else, it may start doing things you don't necessarily want it to do on your machine. And finally, paths, fonts, C Windows fonts. Uh, that's actually not the default. I, I put that in in an earlier installation and it's persisted. But find the fonts on your particular machine, whether that's Linux or Mac or Windows. And as soon as you specify a font item, then it will automatically look immediately in that particular directory. Texture scripts and sounds. You may have preferences for these. Temporary files all the way down here. I'm not sure I want to do that. I'm going to click over here on this little thing that looks like a taco. In fact, it's meant to be a folder. And I'm going to go up using this arrow here. And do I have a C temp? I don't. So let's make a new file. And that's going to be here. Create new directory. And I'll just call it temp. Okay, temp, accept. So now all the temporary files are going to be placed here from now on once I've saved these preferences. Image editor, animation player, you can change these if you want. I'm fine with the defaults. And right, now we have two choices. We can either immediately close out of this dialog box, in which case these preferences will continue throughout the current instance of Blender, or we can go to this icon down here and check that Auto Save Preferences is here, Save Modified Preferences on Exit, click. And now, if I close Blender and reopen it, we'll find that we have our changed preferences. Here's our wider border. Here's our zoom to mouse position. Here's our rotate around selected. All working as they should be, as well as the larger fonts in the interface. So remember again, to save preferences, go down here, auto save preferences, make sure that's checked, and close out.